Hello there, it's Saxon in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon in the Wildlands. Today we're going to find the SR-25 sniper rifle and the 50 round PMAG for the P416 assault rifle. Both good tools. So we're going to go to the Kamini's district. We're going to go on the far right hand side there where you see it marked on the map. We're going to spawn in at Kamini's Alpha if you can. Then we're going to cross the river and go up onto the high ground where we're going to snipe and fight at this position here. Once it's all clear, we're going to move in and get the rifle. And then we're going to move to the tiny little bunker inside there and get the magazine. And then we're going to pack up and farg off. <laughs> Puffo. All right, so we're running down the river. I've got my AI team with me. And I'm going to go ahead and swim across at the dock here. You can find that pretty easily on the map. And I've got a navigation marker up there, a little bit further than I'm going to go, but at least it's got me kind of heading in the right direction to where I want to be. And as we travel across the water here, we will start picking up on a little camp where there's a helicopter. Flying in helicopters is a lot of fun. I like to do that. And also a little rebel camp. I'm not sure why it's there. I don't think it's an actual spawn point, to be honest. But I think maybe if you die, you spawn back to it. Um, but if you uh, do a permadeath, a permanent death, you'll spawn back to Kamini's Alpha. Again, not sure why this is here. Um, all right, so we're at this location. We're going to go up onto the high ground up here. Um, we're heading in that direction. That's where the SR-25 is in that right-hand corner building. And uh, we're going to fight a little bit. I've tried sneaking in. Uh, I have successfully snuck in at night and collected these in the past. Um, but it's quite a tricky fight. There's uh, a lot of bad guys really close on top of you. Uh, so what I like to do is uh, age-old tactic of uh, snipe isolated guys. There's one off to the right here. Just see his head sticking up there. Zap. He's down. He's to the right of where we're going, and he'll alert on us pretty easily. Just leveled up to level five. Next video I think I'll do is on uh, leveling up and skill points. Anyway, we're going to use this high ground. There's a series of false ridges here that we're going to use um, to kind of use the high ground to snipe, and then. We're going to fall back from ridgeline to ridgeline and fight the reinforcements on our advantage. And you can't use the uh, drone here because there's a drone jammer right over there. The guy right there, he's down. I took him because he's isolated. I'm pretty sure there's one down to the bottom right here somewhere. There he is, shooting him through the bush. Pretty sure that's a good shot. And again, I'm using the uh, P416 and I'm using the uh, digital scope that we got in the last video. And this is probably not a smart move. I'm shooting through cover. I'm pretty sure I'm clipping a fence or a building there. And now you see how fast they're moving. They're alerting on me, so it's time for me to fall back and let them come to me and let them outline themselves to me but we can also leave a very special surprise for them they're going to alert in this direction so what i'm going to do is drop down a couple of proximity mines there's one there it's that big red area that's the threat zone and pop up another one kind of offset it slightly over here so when they rush up if uh, they're not careful they'll step on those I need to find a place of cover. I don't like uh, running away like that, <laughs> facing away from the threat. So I'm trying to back up here. But see, I backed up into some cover. So I need to go around the cover, get behind it. Oh, there's a bad guy stepped on a proximity mine already. And uh, they're pretty close. You can tell by the heat blister in the bottom right here. Oops. Open fire. So another mistake I've spotted by myself here is uh, I'm on auto when I should be on single shot. So I'm wasting rounds. Um, oh, he's about to throw a grenade. The body head on him. 
And once we put these guys down, down, reinforcements will show up. You'll see a flash on the screen. So we're in a pretty good position here. The AI is uh, flanking me, providing a bit of cover. And uh, I am moving up. You see how low I'm getting? I, to be honest with you, I hadn't noticed how low I was getting. It's easy to watch the video later and see how low. I am at this point. I've got four 20 round mags, one in the gun and three in the pouches. And uh, that's a good reason to get the extended mag, which is why we're out here. Oh, he's really rabbiting along quite fast there, sprinting. Uh, let's see if he pops out. Which side is he going to come from? I think he's alone right now. Oh, another guy behind him. And what I usually do is, if I'm changing mags, I move to the left, either into cover or out of uh, line of sight of the bad guys. Reinforcements are coming, so uh, they usually show up in the vehicle. About four or five of them get out. About three or four per vehicle, up to two vehicles for reinforcements. And these are Santa Blanca cartel. So they are showing up. Now look how dangerously low on ammo I'm getting. And I haven't noticed. And I haven't switched from auto to single shot, which I should have done. And I will fix that before I play again, that's for sure. Different play styles for different people. Some people shoot really well with the auto. And uh, they customize the weapon to maximize the re or um, minimize, I should say, the recoil. See how low I'm getting right there. I'm about to go to second to last mag right now, and I'm swamped by bad guys. Fortunately, my AI team is watching me, and I am completely out. And to be honest, I hadn't noticed I'm completely out. So it's very bad weapon management here on my part. Still haven't noticed. I'm kind of fixated on him sticking his head up here. And, oh, what the hell? I'm squeezing the trigger at this point, and nothing's happening. Finally, I'm like, ah, I'm out of ammo. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I switched the pistol. And uh, see, I just got the top of his head on the rock there. As I skip a few rounds over that rock, he ducks down. I move, so I'm not exactly where he wants me to be. And center mass shots. And a quick look at the heat map on the bottom right the minimap and there's no heat blisters around me uh, too close so I'm gonna move on in looking good although I'm a little concerned at this point I'm hunted but I can't see who's hunting me right so I'm trying to be stealthy and break the hunted but uh, I think I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna go down there now and uh, I think it's the guys off to the right and I think they're not sure where I am at so I'm going to go down here. It's the uh, not the first building on the left, but the second building on the left is where the uh, SR-25 is. SR-25 is a great gun in this game, um, and you can use it uh, quite a ways up. Um, it's a good sniper rifle for a semi-auto. Obviously, it's uh, my preference, but it uh, may not be everybody's preference, but it works well for me. And uh, I use it probably 75-80% uh, of the time with my sniper rifle. And it's uh, upstairs in this building. And th you can go upstairs on the outside, but I prefer to go on the inside. Just quick scan the room, look for uh, surprises. Uh, there is some intel here and a mission here that auto-populates when you get here. Here we go, picking up the rifle. And uh, I do equip it, but I'll cut that out for you, so don't have to watch me drooling over the SR-25. And out we go to move on. We're going to check out. There's normally a guy in that tower right there, but I don't see him. And you can see I am plainly using the uh, electric, uh, sorry, the digital scope that we got in the last video. Quite like it. I am out of ammo for the assault rifle for the uh, P416, so I'm going to load up. That's the uh, perfect advertisement for having bigger mags, longer mags, with more rounds, and not shooting on full auto. And uh, this looks pretty safe. There's a helicopter. I'll probably use that to get out of here. 
and we're going to go in the armoria you see on the left there through the window and there are still bad guys here so i'm being stealthy and uh just stop inside cover here and looking for the bad guys i see there's some over by the radar on the right there in fact he just comes out right as i start walking and i make it to the magazine which is right here and I uh, pick up that puppy so at least I have it no matter what happens at this point and uh, I think I want to load up but I'm just gonna sit back here yep this guy did come for me oh groin shot <laughs> low blow even if he recovers it won't go well for him and uh, here I'm gonna equip the 50 round magazine on the uh, P416 and then I'm gonna load up and fill up those mags, top up the mags. And then we're gonna get the heck out of here. And there we go. It only takes a second or two to top up. Pity that can't happen in real life. And pretty safe. There's a, there is somebody on the right here. So I'm gonna use this bit of cover, eliminate him. These guys are coming my way, but not close enough to get me, I think. Three of them. Buffo time. Pack up and farg off. Getting the gun bird. This is a minigun uh, helicopter. That's my helicopter of choice. And uh, although I don't fly it <laughs> very well, <laughs> as you can see. Hey, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe.